Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello friends and fellow world changers, it's the end of another week and trust you've hit all those goals and set for your well-deserved rest. The title of today's episode is Living Beyond Limitations and our focus scripture is 1 Corinthians 2 verses 8 and 9 and today I'll read from the Living Bible. It reads, none of the rulers of this age knew it, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. This passage reminds us that God's plans often defy human logic and comprehension. The crucifixion itself was an act of redemption that no one could have foreseen, yet it unlocked eternal life for believers. This truth extends into our daily lives. When we trust God, we step into plans beyond our imagination. Like Joseph or modern visionaries, great leaders often see opportunities others overlook. Faith in God's unseen plans mirrors this kind of leadership, promoting boldness and resilience. The brain is wired to adapt. Faith in the unseen rewires our mental pathways, boosting optimism and creative thinking. Despite being sold into slavery and later imprisoned, Joseph maintained faith in God's unseen plan. This unwavering trust enabled him to interpret Pharaoh's dreams and eventually save nations for famine. Modern visionary leaders mirrored this approach. They envisage needs, find solutions before crises arise, and remain resilient despite setbacks. Faith in God's unseen plans is a cornerstone of visionary leadership. It fosters boldness, allowing leaders to step into roles or situations that seem risky or unconventional. Resilience, a critical trait in leadership, also emerges from faith, empowering leaders to bounce back from failures with renewed purpose. Neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Faith plays a vital role in this process by fostering optimism and creative thinking. When you focus on unseen possibilities, believing that God is orchestrating things for your good, you engage parts of your brain associated with hope and problem solving. Now, research shows that repetitive uh, positive reinforcement like meditating on scripture or declaring God's promises strengthens neural pathways related to optimism and resilience. For example, when someone reads verses like Romans 8, 28, that's all things work together for good, their brain begins to align with this truth, influencing how they perceive challenges and opportunities. This faith-driven mindset not only combats anxiety, but also nurtures creative solutions in personal and professional contexts. Churches and organizations driven by faith often inspire movements that ripple outward, creating networks of trust, shared resources, and collective action. For instance, faith-rooted groups such as Habitat for Humanity or World Vision have transformed entire communities by providing housing, education, and essential uh, resources. Visionary trust in God's plans fosters these movements by motivating individuals to act beyond personal gain, pursuing broader societal changes. This intersection of faith and socioeconomics often um, also reflects uh, Jesus' ministry. He didn't just preach, but also fed the hungry, healed the sick, 
and uplifted the marginalized, demonstrating a holistic approach to societal transformation. Nabil Qureshi, a devout Muslim turned Christian apologist, lived a story of unwavering faith in God's higher plans. Born into a loving Muslim family, Nabil was deeply committed to Islam. During his medical studies, he met David Wood, a Christian who challenged him to investigate the claims of Christianity versus Islam. Nabil's journey was marked by intense intellectual and spiritual struggles. Through years of studying historical evidence, reading scripture, and wrestling in prayer, he began to see Jesus not just as a prophet, but as the Son of God. His faith decision came at a great personal cost, straining his family relationships, yet he trusted that God's plans were greater than his understanding. Nabil became a powerful speaker and author, sharing his testimony through books like Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. Tragically, he was diagnosed with advanced stomach cancer at the height of his ministry. Even in the face of death, Nabil trusted God's higher purpose. In his final video message, he declared, The message of the gospel is hope, even where there is no earthly hope. His life continues to inspire millions to trust in the wisdom and sovereignty of God, even when the path is uncertain. Now, what are the key takeaways and success principles in today's scripture? Trusting God aligns us with his extraordinary plans, even beyond our understanding. In other words, faith activates purpose. Unseen opportunities. Challenges can be pathways to success when viewed through the lens of faith. Stepping into the unknown with God leads to unimaginable outcomes. Some practical life applications here. Begin each day by declaring trust in God's unseen plans for your life. Make declarations that align with the will of God. Reframe challenges as opportunities. Ask, what might God be preparing through this situation? Embrace prayer and brainstorming to unlock new ways to navigate difficulties. Stay open to change. Be willing to pivot when God redirects you, knowing he sees the bigger picture. In conclusion, life is full of moments where what we see doesn't make sense and the future feels uncertain. But today's scripture, 1 Corinthians 2, 8 and 9, they remind us that God's plan surpasses human comprehension. We can trust in the unseen, knowing that his purposes are always for our ultimate good. Let this truth anchor you. God's plans for you are far beyond what you can see. Keep trusting, keep seeking, and know that he is working all things together for your good, leading you into unimaginable blessings and impact in ways that will one day leave you in awe. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I am confident that God's unseen plans for me are far greater than I can imagine. I step boldly into his purpose, knowing that he leads me to a future filled with blessings, impact, and divine favor. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, The world is waiting for us to demonstrate God, so go out. Make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, thank you and God bless. Have a restful weekend and see you again next week. Mm -hmm.